Hi, I'm Melinda Rose. And I'm Laura Marshall, and this is Light Matters for October 12, 2011. In this week's Five Minutes to Enlightenment, the visual spectrum is eyed for communications. IPG wins a five-year patent battle. Thor Labs aims to expand into electrophysiology. And we're joined by the FIO 2011 General Co-Chair for a few highlights from OSA's annual meeting. Harold Haas and his team at the University of Edinburgh think the visible spectrum, which is 10,000 times larger than today's cramped and limited radio bandwidth, holds the solution to future mobile communications challenges. They are investigating the use of LEDs, and Li-Fi is the term they've coined to describe how their concept works. The light intensity of LEDs can be controlled very rapidly and is faster than the human eye can detect. The researchers have achieved their goal of producing an LED bulb that can be used in a standard light fitting, completely off the shelf and with a very low energy requirement. Through a small device in the light fitting, digital information can easily be converted into minute variations in light, even at very low light levels, and then transferred to other devices many times faster than the data coming into the building. The light emissions are harmless to humans and can be transmitted even if the light source is dimmed or reflected around the room. Haas and his team are now aiming to get their product to market in January. We're joined now by Lassen Asufid, the Optus Group Leader in the X-ray Science Division at Argonne National Laboratory. He's also the FIO 2011 General Co-Chair. So Lawson, we told viewers last week about how an iPhone was converted into a spectrometer and a microscope, and that paper is going to be presented at FIO this year. What are some other notable presentations that people should attend? Thank you, Melinda, for having me. Uh, certainly, uh, amongst the papers that are uh, equally fascinating, I will cite a paper entitled Tagging Brain Tumor with Gold uh, by um, a team of researchers from Duke University who showed that unique optical properties of gold uh, can be exploited to clearly image brain tumor and distinguish it from healthy uh, tissue and cells. Uh, researchers at uh, Yale University are presenting a, a paper entitled Laser Inspired by Nature. They show that by borrowing nanoscale tricks from nature, it may be, may be possible to create new type of lasers that can assemble themselves in uh, natural, by natural processes. Another interesting paper is a paper entitled Temporal Cloaks Hide an Event in Time by scientists at Cornell University who demonstrated that it is possible to create a, a hole in time where singular events can go and not undetected. And your particular specialty is in the X-ray science division. Um, what are you uh, interested in seeing yourself personally this year? Well, I am personally excited by the plenary presentation by two world-renowned scientists who will report on the latest scientific and technological advances at the very small length and very small time scale, respectively. Professor Ferenc Krauss will report on the latest development in the outer second scale science. My group at Arga National Laboratory, as well as other groups worldwide, are pursuing research to create perfect lenses uh, for X-rays and see things at the atomic and molecular levels. These X-ray lenses will enable someday to study and synthesize uh, new uh, materials, for example. So I can't wait to see uh, uh, the plenary presentation by Sir John Pendry, who will report on how to create a perfect lens and see things at length scale much smaller than the free space wavelength of light. This conference features a range of special symposia, once again being from the uh, field of X-rays um, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and science, and particularly excited to attend a special, sympo special symposia on novel X-ray and uh, UV light sources. Um, these and many other events make it really worthwhile attending the Frontiers in Optics Conference. Great. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing all the great things happening in San Jose this year. Thank you. A five-year fiber laser court battle ended last week with a jury deciding that IPG Photonics did not infringe on IMRA America's patent related to the use of an optical amplifier to provide a more precise and higher quality light beam from a fiber laser at higher power. IMRA first filed the patent infringement suit against IPG in 2006. The validity of the patent itself was not in question during the trial, as the Patent Office had confirmed it in 2009. IMRA has signed licensing deals for the patent with a number of companies. Last month, it said it has expanded such a deal with Yanoptic AG. IMRA President Takahashi Omitsu said the company is disappointed with the ruling. IPG stock briefly surged after the ruling, but is still down about 25% over the last three months. Lumen Dynamics has sold its Burley line to Thor Labs. The line includes piezoelectric micro-manipulators and microscope mounting systems for life sciences research. Specific terms of the deal were not disclosed. Thor Labs president and founder Alex Cable said adding the Burley products will allow the company to foster the rapidly expanding field of electrophysiology. 
Lumen Dynamics said the sale frees it to focus on its light-based solutions for cellular imaging, medical and optoelectronics assembly, and UV printing industries. Thor Labs will debut the line at Neuroscience 2011 in Washington in November. Well, that's it for this edition of Light Matters. We hope you'll share the link to this video or any episode of Light Matters with a friend or colleague. You can do that simply by clicking on the icons at the bottom of this player. We'd also like to hear from you. Please send your comments, suggestions, or questions to lightmatters.photonics.com. You can also follow Photonics Media on Facebook and Twitter. Please join us again next week for another five minutes to enlightenment. Our business is uh, moving photons from uh, sources to uh, detectors and through the eye or through the blood. And that's uh, my uh, primary uh, business model and, uh, and, and efforts to date. We hope to be able to uh, non-invasively measure your uh, blood glucose levels and that's a, a big issue if you're a diabetic. Or in ophthalmology we uh, look to measure uh, particular uh, retinal functions and uh, thicknesses that uh, matter if you're uh, developing uh, macular degeneration. Light is a very important sport. Without light we cannot uh, do the metrology. <laughs> That is important <laughs> because if the, uh, you don't have a light, then you cannot uh, characterize your surface, what type of surface it is. Mm -hmm.